Hello viewers, my name is Evelyn Jambi. I'm the reigning Miss World Kenya 2016 and I'm here with Hilary Kimoyo. Well, um, Evelyn Jambi is a simple, uh, compassionate, um, let me say fun, um, community-minded individual who loves swimming. Uh, those are, that's my number one talent. I love swimming. And I love anything to do with uh, fashion and royalty. I actually follow the, the royal family in Britain a lot. I just like the whole royal emblem. I really do. I grew up in Parklands. Uh, that's where I was born and raised. I was born in Aga Khan then went to Parklands Nursery and Hospital Hill Primary School. Then for my high school education, I went to Pangani Girls. Uh, my family is generally tall. My dad is tall. I think I got the genes from that side. I'm 5'9 feet, yes. From the time I was small, I used to watch Miss World uh, beauty pageants uh, when I was uh, it was during the, most of the time Miss World happens during the Christmas season and Christmas used to find me at my grandmother's place and I remember no matter what uh, job we were doing there, maybe farming or helping out in the kitchen, when it was Miss World finals I used to watch it even if I'm at my grandmother's place and I used to tell myself these girls look so beautiful, they look like princesses and queens living in castles and I told myself one day I would want a tiara on my head. So when I joined first year in Maseno University, I tried Mr. and Miss Maseno and it didn't go so well. So I kind of uh, gave up on modeling. So I put it aside and then I just focused on my studies for a while. So last year when I heard about Miss World Kiambu County auditions, I tried to give it a shot. I told myself, let me just give it one more shot, modeling itself. And if it didn't go well, I just knew I wasn't cut out for modeling. So when I tried it out and I managed to win, I was like, wow, you mean, you mean I can do this? So after I got Miss, uh, Miss World Kenya Kiambu County, uh, that obviously gave you the pass to go for Miss World Kenya Finals. So, yeah, basically that's it. That's, where, that's how my modeling career transcended, yeah. I just like anything girly, anything that brings out the girly side of me. Um, yeah, just basically that's it. I just like floral things. I love nude. And when it comes to makeup and shoes, I love nude uh, kind of touch and also my nails. Um, yeah, basically that's it. The most weird question is, has to be my most embarrassing moment. Yes, that was the most weird question. What was the most embarrassing moment to you? I won't answer that because I've stolen a question for you from another interview. No, it was so, to come. no, 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 it wasn't. So sure let's you. proceed with other questions, please. <laughs> No, I'm not dating and I'm, I'm, I don't plan to date right now. Yes, I'm really focused with what I'm doing. And if you're there and you're trying, uh, just give up. Well, at the end of the day, it depends with someone's body. Because there's some who they have to be strict on everything they eat so that they don't add weight. Uh, and for me, it's almost the same thing. I watch what I eat, what I eat because of how it reflects on your skin and also your body size. So let me say in the morning I'll wake up and eat an orange and warm water. Then I wait for 30 minutes before now you eat something a bit heavy. Orange and warm. Yes. What does it do? Okay. <laughs> the orange is very good for the skin. It goes directly to the skin. And of course warm water is used to detox your body. Yes. And which foods are you not supposed to eat? Uh, of course junk food. That, that is very, very obvious. Things which are fatty or deep fried or, yeah, or meaty stuff. I really, really watch uh, the kind of meat I take, the amount of meat I take, because meat takes long to digest in the body and you don't want uh, food to be stored in your stomach. And yes. you crave for them when you go to your friends for dinner and you see them having a nice barbecue there and you're taking your oranges? <laughs> Okay, um, let me say it, ha it comes with self-control. I don't feel, I don't crave it because sometimes I treat myself like once a week, I will eat it. So I really don't crave like I'm dying or something. Yes. Uh, 
uh, the molding industry in Kenya is growing. That's just a fact. And with everyone coming up with fashion shows like Mtindo Africa, you have Brad's fashion show. I think modeling industry in Kenya is headed in the right direction. Yes, and you know that encompassing a whole lot of people, like uh, from makeup artists to stylists to fashion designers. So it comes with a lot of job opportunities for everyone who thinks and revolves around fashion. What I'd say, find out what works for you. Because maybe someone might advise you to use MAC makeup or Sleek or Mary Kay. But at the end of the day, choose something that suits you, something that blends with your skin. And what is important is being yourself. You know, no one wants a fake copy of someone else. You just need to be original. And that's where the highest value of yourself lies. And uh, something else I'd say, invest in uh, uh, self-branding, personal branding. Go for photo shoots which bring out the best in you and post them on social media. You never know who's watching, someone might j just call you for a job. I intend to uh, carry out my project for FGM and uh, early child marriage abol abolition in Kenya. I believe um, we have a long way to go. Yes, Kenya has already banned the FGM in, in, in these communities, but at the same time, it's still happening. And what I believe is we still need to stand our ground and continue educating uh, women in these communities and also the men in these communities that it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn Jambi, the current Miss World Kenya. Um, I would urge you guys to keep watching uh, Snappy 7 every Sunday and keep reading Nairobi News. Thank you.